Have you ever wondered what it really takes to find inner peace? You know, that deep sense of calm and contentment that seems to elude us in our hectic lives. Well, let's talk about something a bit different today, something I like to call monk mode. It's not just a practice, it's a transformative lifestyle choice that could be your gateway to lasting peace and clarity. Imagine stripping away the noise, the clutter, and tuning into a more profound, more authentic version of yourself. Let's dive into this journey together and discover how embracing monk mode might just be the key to unlocking that inner peace we all seek. So what exactly is monk mode? Picture this. It's like hitting the pause button on life's distractions and noise, giving yourself the space to focus intensely on personal growth and inner peace. Monk mode isn't about literally becoming a monk, but it's about adopting some of their principles, like mindfulness, simplicity, and a deep sense of purpose. It's about creating a space where you can tune into your own needs, thoughts, and feelings. Think of it as a journey inward, where you strip away the excesses and focus on what truly matters to you. It's about finding clarity and simplicity. Whether it's decluttering your space, taking a break from social media, or just spending more time in silence, monk mode is about rediscovering your path to peace. Now let's explore how you can integrate these principles into your daily life and start this transformative journey. The Pillars of Monk Mode Let's dive into the heart of monk mode. Think of it as standing on four pillars, each critical in supporting your journey to inner peace. First up, simplicity. It's about stripping life back to the essentials. Imagine clearing out not just physical clutter, but also mental clutter. Simplifying your life makes room for what truly matters. Then there's mindfulness. It's about being fully present in every moment. Whether you're eating, walking, or just breathing, mindfulness means immersing yourself completely in the here and now. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment, letting them pass like clouds in the sky. The third pillar is discipline. This might sound tough, but it's incredibly freeing. Discipline in monk mode is about setting boundaries for yourself and sticking to them. It's about consistency in your practices, whether that's meditation, exercise, or just ensuring you have quiet time each day. Finally, we come to solitude. Now this isn't about being lonely. Solitude in monk mode is about cherishing time with yourself. These pillars aren't just practices, they're a mindset. Integrating simplicity, mindfulness, discipline, and solitude into your life can lead you to a place of profound inner peace. Simplicity and decluttering life. Now, let's talk about simplifying your life. It's like tidying up a room. When things are in order, your mind feels calmer, right? The same goes for life. Simplifying isn't just about having fewer things. It's about creating more space for what truly enriches you. Think about the stuff you own, the activities you do, even the thoughts you entertain. Ask yourself, does this add value to my life? Does this bring me peace? Start small. Maybe it's clearing out a drawer or spending a quiet evening without digital distractions. It could be as simple as choosing not to engage in gossip or negative thoughts. Every little step towards simplicity helps declutter your mind and brings you closer to that inner peace. This process isn't just about eliminating things. It's about making room for what matters. When you declutter your space and mind, you make way for creativity, for peace, and for a deeper connection with yourself and the world. Mindfulness in everyday activities. Let's bring our focus to mindfulness. You've probably heard about it, but let's make it more than just a buzzword. Mindfulness is about fully immersing yourself in the present moment. It's not just for those quiet meditation sessions. It can be a part of everything you do. Imagine savoring every bite of your meal, feeling the textures, tasting the flavors, being fully there. Or think about listening to someone, not just hearing their words, but truly being present with them. That's mindfulness. Here's a simple technique you can try. Next time you're doing something routine, like washing dishes or walking, pay attention to every detail. Feel the water on your hands. Notice the rhythm of your steps, the sensations under your feet. It's amazing how these ordinary activities can transform into moments of peace and clarity. By practicing mindfulness in these small, everyday tasks, you're training your mind to stay present and calm in all aspects of life. It's about finding peace in the here and now, not waiting for some future moment. 
So what's one routine activity you can approach mindfully today? Let's make mindfulness a real living experience in our daily lives. Now let's talk about discipline. You might think of it as rigid or tough, but in monk mode, discipline is your ally, your foundation for transformation. It's not about punishment or restriction. It's about choosing your path consciously and sticking to it. Imagine discipline as the steady hand guiding you through the chaos of daily life. It's what keeps you on track when distractions beckon or when motivation wanes. Think of it as a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. Here's a strategy to boost your discipline. Start small. Choose one area in your life where you want more control. Maybe it's waking up a little earlier, dedicating time to read or practicing a new skill. The key is consistency. Do it every day, no matter what. You'll be surprised how these small acts of discipline can lead to significant changes. Remember, discipline in monk mode isn't about being harsh with yourself. It's about respecting your goals and values enough to make consistent choices that align with them. It's about saying yes to what truly matters to you and no to distractions. So what small step can you commit to today for a more disciplined and focused life? Solitude and self-reflection. Now, let's turn to solitude, often misunderstood, yet incredibly powerful. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, finding a moment of solitude can be like discovering a hidden treasure. It's in these quiet moments that the magic of self-reflection happens. Solitude isn't about feeling lonely or isolated. Instead, think of it as a special date with your inner self. It's a time to pause, breathe, and truly listen to your thoughts and feelings. In these moments, away from the noise of the world, you find clarity and insights that are often drowned out by daily distractions. Here's an invitation for you. Carve out a little solitude in your day. It could be a peaceful walk, a quiet morning with your coffee, or just a few minutes of sitting silently. Use this time to reflect on your day, your goals, your dreams. Ask yourself, am I on the path I want to be? What can I do to align my actions with my deepest values? Embracing solitude is a gentle yet powerful way to reconnect with your true self. It's about giving yourself the space to grow, to dream, and to find peace within. Overcoming challenges in monk mode. Embarking on the monk mode journey isn't without its hurdles. It's a path less traveled, and sometimes it can feel like you're swimming against the current. But remember, every great journey has its challenges, and overcoming them is part of the adventure. One common challenge is the misconception that monk mode means completely isolating yourself or giving up all your worldly pleasures. It's not about extreme measures. It's about finding balance and making mindful choices that align with your quest for inner peace. Another hurdle could be the initial resistance from your own habits or even from people around you. Change can be uncomfortable, not just for you, but also for those accustomed to the old you. Here's where your discipline and commitment shine through. Stay true to your path, and with time, you'll notice how these changes positively impact not just you, but also your relationships and environment. And let's not forget the inner critic, that little voice that doubts and questions your choices. When it speaks up, acknowledge it, but don't let it steer your ship. Remind yourself why you chose this path. Reconnect with your goals and the peace you're cultivating within. If you stumble, it's okay. Monk mode isn't about perfection, it's about growth and learning. Each challenge is an opportunity to deepen your understanding and strengthen your resolve. So, when you encounter these hurdles, take a deep breath, center yourself, and remember why you started. Let's wrap up our exploration of monk mode. It's more than just a concept. It's a journey towards inner peace, a path of transformation that calls for simplicity, mindfulness, discipline, and solitude. Each element of monk mode isn't just a practice, it's a step towards a more meaningful and centered life. I want to leave you with this thought. Embracing monk mode doesn't mean you need to change everything about your life overnight. It's about making small, mindful shifts that lead to profound changes over time. It's about finding your rhythm in the chaos, your quiet in the noise. So, where will you start your journey? Maybe it's decluttering your space or dedicating a few minutes each day to mindfulness. Perhaps it's about setting boundaries or finding moments of solitude amidst your busy schedule. Remember, the path to inner peace is deeply personal. Your monk mode will look different from someone else's and that's perfectly okay. 
What matters is that you're taking steps towards a more peaceful, grounded version of yourself. So I encourage you, take that first step, embrace the journey within, and see how monk mode can transform not just how you live, but how you feel within. Your journey to inner peace is just waiting to begin.